There are many people who all over the world specifically go to ruins because they love them. They find them exciting places. They're places where because the authorities have backed off and because they're not managed, they're much more what you call liminal, a bit in between. Uh, those are exciting places for artists to create work in. The first time I came out here was maybe about seven years ago. You, it's, it's wonderful, you feel like you've discovered it yourself. For such a big building, even if you arrive with a sort of a number of people, it feels somehow sort of forbidden and kind of lost. I don't think, I can't think of anything quite on this scale in this setting that there is. I mean, it's just very odd. And everybody who's been in here, they've all got their own stories. Eight years ago, I came out here uh, in the snow. We looked up, up at the walls and uh, all these amazing shapes. It was in very bad nick back then. And we thought, should we go for it? Are we the people who are going to rescue this? And we just had a feeling that we were going to give it a shot. The building has been, it was, it was built for the Catholic Church and it was only used for a short period of time and then um, became derelict and it sat, sat here in, in this sort of wilderness, this landscape wilderness um, for quite a few years, slowly, slowly sort of deteriorating. It's in the middle of this fantastic um, wood which like the building has sort of decayed and become unloved but is still sort of magical. Those young architects were so bold and their imagination to make a building like this, a, a tough building to live in, make no mistake. They were picking up on lots of influences, but absolutely making them their own. And that, that was why this building has stood the test of time. Hinterland is uh, our first statement about what you can do with buildings like this. So for the next 10 days, we're gonna be creating this very subtle uh, nighttime artwork that uses light, uses a beautiful choral work. All the vaults and all the surfaces get animated by lighting by a guy called Phil Supple. It's just the details, it's all the, the small things you start noticing. And the, the way they've, they've constructed it with the, the, the timber shuttering to make the concrete. When you look at all the timber close up, there's all the, the, the patterns of the woods and the nails. When we start the restoration process, cross fingers, if we get all our money next week, uh, We'll be ready to go and over the next two years we'll be restoring it, bringing the chapel back to full restoration, but leaving parts of it as a ruin because we actually think that people really enjoy visiting ruins. If you think about castles, you quite often enjoy that. There's something romantic about going back two, three hundred years to visit a castle. You can actually do the same with a 20th century building.